Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the UCLA Bruins and the Tennessee Volunteers. Number five, it brings a much needed presence from a senior player to the court. As a senior player, he knows how to inspire his team without stealing their focus. The Volunteers will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Volunteers should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And finally, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now trying to feed the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. I tell you, does a great job getting cross position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Perfectly executed. The outside, the center with the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And up and drains the shot. This is worth the second look. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They go into the low block. The power forward takes the feed. Oh, what a strip, Red. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He unloads. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Foul charge. And he's going to pick up the foul and, oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They work it back to the outside. They work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Down inside. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Cashed it in. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Look at that spacing. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to feed the low block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. for two, and he scores despite the hack. Right, right. 
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Time to pick up the defense here now. The point guard takes the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. How about an instant replay? They'll work it around the arc. Shoots from outside. That was nice. Home is emotionally pumped up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Great play to take that to the basket. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The power forward gets the ball. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. The center gets the pass. Can't get the shot to drop. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. He drains the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Beatty picks up the foul. Second team foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Turns it over. Almost lost the basketball. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. Entry pass in the paint. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He blocks the shot. Sinks it. Out of play. For the bucket. Got it. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Great anticipation defensively. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. On the inside, tries for two. They still don't score. Now they work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. perimeter trying to draw the foul he's clearly forcing things right now Dick he's taking his team out of the game look at that celebration he is pumped he's trying to pump up the fans too he's saying hey come along for the ride he's feeling good Brad he's feeling really good two shots traditionally this school and conference has been all about football but now things seem to be changing at Tennessee. Hey, they sure are. Tennessee is quickly becoming a basketball school as well. Their 25,000-seat arena is full more often than not. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. Marshall pounded on his way up. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon in the end. The frustration right there. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 32 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Gets the second shot. They've got a player spotting up on the three. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Rice in the paint. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. He's what I like to call a surf and turfer, a superstar. Only the special ones get to this level. He'll visit the charity strike. Got it from the free throw line. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. The Bruins can really crank it up on the defensive end. Hey, defense may not sell tickets, but a strong defense will bring some W's. Up and inside. From way outside. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. 
Jumped in front to take. He rejects it. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Great shot. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He does the sweet fake shot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Picks off the pass. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly a block. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the angle. It's good. That's basic. Up and inside. Jumps in. UCLA is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. High post player flashing. Got the shot if he wants it. He unloads a three. Makes it. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Here's a double team. Looks at a three. The sky is a limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arm. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. For the bucket. The land. Let's it go. Sinks the shot. <laughs> Tries for two. And off the mark. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Good fake. Here's the three ball. He buries the shot. How about a replay, boys?
he'll kick it back outside. They've left him completely alone. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He puts up the tray. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now. On the outside, he pump fakes. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. There's a double team waiting there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Coach calls for a timeout. He wants to talk some things over. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Two. They still don't score. Picked off on the dribble, gives it up. They'll work it around the arc. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Can't get the shot to drop. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And again, they look to run. With authority. Steals a pass. Marshall, pump fakes. Oliveira comes up with it. Let's it fly. Way off target. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Fields goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Second shot, no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Picked out of the air. Dump it inside. For three. Oh, yes. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat him. He makes the block. the shot they've got to figure out a way to slow him down I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens 
Intercepted. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. Rolling back, fellas. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. From left of the circle, they let him get into a rhythm. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the end of the first half. The Volunteers trail by nine. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Tennessee coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half. Day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He's got a nice shot fake from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. The lane. That was awesome, baby. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. They work the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Field makes the finger roll. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The Bruins lead by 11. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Nice pass to the low. Wow, what a dunk and one. That was simply sensational, baby. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He can't buy one. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Copeland receives the ball. He lets it go. Makes the shot. Dumps it in. He intercepts it. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the outside, Oliveira receives the pass.
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that bad pick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The center takes the pass in the paint. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. The small forward handles the feed. He lets it go. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Taken away. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, the lay in. <laughs> work it around the perimeter. The point guard handles the pass from the top of the circle. He drains it. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow he gets that one to fall steal he brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He hits the tough shot. I tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. <laughs> he intercepts it. Gave it up. Team now, bad angle. Nice shot fake. He takes it away. They push it up on the break. You can't get away with that. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. Makes the second shot. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. And now they'll bring it up. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. With the layup. Gave it up. Goes in. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Great defense. Pushes it. Hunt makes it. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. With the free throw. Hits that one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. On the outside. He strips him clean. On the dribble, gives it up. Here we go on the break. For the deuce. He nails the bucket. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. And a slam. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Not this time. They'll work it around the arc. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. On the inside. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. away the pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Too physical. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. For two. And he missed. The fake. Moving it around the perimeter. He's got an open look for the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. UCLA have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Inside. In the paint. Leans in. The land. Robs him of the ball. Historically, it's been the women's team that's gotten most of the attention, but the men's program steadily improving. They're starting to come on, Dick. Hey, well, they've got a new coach and a mentality now, and with all of that came an exciting new team and a style of play. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Here's a double team. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. by the D. I love it. 
Gave it up. Stolen ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an eight zip run. Jumped in front to take it away. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Fake. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. High post flashes. He shoots from the elbow. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. From right of the circle. Got it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Takes it off him. Puts up the tray. He shows the sweet touch. That's an 11 nothing run. Action's ready to start again. the ball and back they come the other way for two drops the bucket despite the harm that's a 13 zip run the Bruins have a mismatch in the post it's definitely a mismatch nice steal there but the offense gets the ball back 
High post flasher is open. Fakes it. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Picks off the pass. Pass break possibility coming. Oliveira draws the personal. It's the replay, please. Something. He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. No rebounding that. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He puts it up. He hits the shot. Paint. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Nice fake. He unloads. He gets the bucket. Takes the pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. <laughs> Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. They move it into the front court. Great defense. Shots there if he wants it. Sinks it. The Volunteers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. In the paint. Goes up for two. Got it. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. We're going to move it around the perimeter. For the deuce. 
He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Defense extended the old game law. Is that pressure on the ball? Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That pressure on that basketball. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital win. Throws it up, tries for two, and the ball goes out of play. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. The lane. for play to resume. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries the three. He hits it. We're ready to get back to the action. Tennessee loses the game. They had a chance to win this one against a comparable team, but they ended up defeating themselves. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.